Um, one of the coaches, I think maybe Kleiman, talked about how much weight you put on, and it's good weight. Uh, how much bigger are you, and uh, how does that weight feel? Uh, so right now I'm weighing about 200 pounds. Uh, last season I was weighing like 185, and then towards the end of the season I got down to like 175. But to be honest, I feel pretty good. You know, I feel like it's a good weight. It just got pretty stronger and got, uh, got pretty faster with that weight. You think it'll help you, like, get through this season physically fine? I feel, uh, yeah, I would think so. Just just maintaining, that's the uh, most important thing for me, just maintain my weight and just be able to compete with bigger guys. So I feel like this will help a lot with uh, being at 200 pounds. Uh, the starters seem pretty set at corner. Uh, who, who behind you guys seem to really be stepping up? Uh, Justin James, he catches my eye. Uh, Kanizel Thomas, uh, Jordan Dunbar, uh, Donnie uh, McIntosh. We just, I feel like we got a pretty uh, deep group. You know, they're young, but I feel like uh, if they was put out there, they would be able to make plays for the team. Coach Malone mentioned that, that one thing he's been on you f about since you got here is to be more vocal and be more of a leader. It sounds like from what other guys are saying too that. That's an area that you've really sort of taken to heart. Do you feel yeah. now as a as a junior you just need to be more of a leader? I would say so. You know, for, when I first got here, I, I played as a freshman, but I didn't feel comfortable speaking out in front of the team. I feel like I still had to earn respect. But I feel like I earned respect for the team to be able to just call people out and just be that leader. And then I got put on leadership council uh, in the winter, so I feel like this has helped me tremendously just being more vocal. Is that something that comes natural to you, or is it something you've kind of had to work at? That's something i got to work on. I'm not really a vocal guy. I just, I'm just i a very quiet guy, but that's something just I need to improve as a human, just be able to speak in front of groups and people. Jacob, what's your daily calorie goal to keep uh, 200 pounds all the time? I don't I don't stick to – I don't really got a daily uh, calorie goal. I just – if it's in front of me, I'm just going to eat it, And to be honest. <laughs> so I've been eating – so now I go to a lot of Chipotle. I go there like three, four times a week. Give me a burrito or give me a bowl, and it drinks like drink about two, three protein shakes. So that's working pretty well for me. I like that first part of that answer. Yeah. I was just <laughs> <laughs> um, who at safety? Um, or I mean, all the guys at safety are pretty proven, but who's kind of caught your eye there during training camp? Who have you? Who have you? During liked? training camp, uh, I mean Jordan Riley. Marquis Siegel, VJ Payne, but today, uh, today at practice, Marquis had three uh, interceptions, so I feel like he's going to take that next step for this year, and he's going to be a really good player for us. What was your first impression of Jordan when he got here? Uh, he was a very outgoing person, and he likes to hit, so just be be prepared for that. Who on on for K State? Who have been the toughest receivers to kind of cover so far in the last couple of weeks? Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Keegan Johnson for sure. You know, me and him always battle. It's always a great competition. Iron uh, sharpens iron. And then Trey Spivey, he's a really he's a good young guy that I can feel like that could be on the field making plays for us. Coach Malone crack as many jokes with you guys as he does yeah, with us. Always, we be in a meeting and he always he'll tell us a story or just tell us jokes, man. But I love that guy so much. It just it's amazing to be around him.